Rocket storage is one of the more interesting tricks in Super Mario Sunshine, and it's been used regularly by many fans of the game since it was discovered a couple of years ago. If you've seen my other videos, or a Super Mario Sunshine speedrun before, you've probably seen this trick. We used rocket storage to get to the secret tree outside Bianco Hills, and there are a lot of useful applications for it in speedruns. Executing the trick is pretty simple. First you get into sidestep position, and then you begin to charge a rocket. Right before you launch, you exit sidestep position. Mario's animation of returning to his normal standing position cancels out the rocket launch. From there, you can sidestep off of whatever you're standing on, and you'll immediately be propelled upwards. Mario stored a rocket, and he used it later. But this video isn't about how rocket storage works. It's about the limits of what we can do with it. So rocket storage is interesting for a couple of reasons. For one, you can use it almost everywhere. To do it normally, all you need is a rocket nozzle and a ledger or cliff to sidestep off of. But more interestingly, we can store multiple rockets. If you store two rockets in a row, and then blast off, you'll go way higher than if you only store one. If you store three, you'll go even higher, and so on and so forth. So naturally the question is, is there a limit? Can we store too many rockets? And what happens if we do? Well, there's a way to test that right in Delfino Plaza. In this area, there's a water sprinkler that replenishes your tank, and there's a ledge that we can sidestep off of. So we have all of the conditions we need to use rocket storage, and we also have an infinite supply of water, which of course means an infinite supply of rockets. So first I tried storing five rockets, just to see what it would look like, and while we get launched up a fair amount and get a nice view of the island, it's nowhere near the extreme. So then I tried storing 10 rockets, basically the same thing, but we go a little higher. So then I stored 20 rockets, and the plaza disappeared. Unfortunately, here's where we started having a little bit of a problem. After storing 50 rockets, then 100 rockets, then 250 rockets, and finally 500 rockets, it was starting to look basically the same every time. The city would disappear instantly. It would be nothing but Mario and the great blue sky around him. The only difference was that Mario would enter the falling animation earlier the more rockets were stored, which probably means eventually we were hitting the top of the map. So we were starting to get somewhere, but another problem. It was starting to take forever to store that many rockets. It took over 15 minutes straight of storing rockets to store 500, but fortunately, there was a way to speed up the process. By watching the game's memory, I found where these rockets were being stored by the game. Rockets give Mario vertical momentum, so it was only natural that the place in memory that stores vertical momentum was the one being written to by rocket storage. Storing one rocket adds about positive 170 to the value in that place in memory. So by changing the value to 170, we get the same effect as storing one rocket. Changing it to 340 essentially stores two rockets, and so on and so forth. So to test out what would happen, I changed the value to 8.5 million, or the equivalent of about 50,000 rockets. And here's what happened. Mario starts falling almost immediately, meaning we hit the very top of the map almost instantly in a process that would take approximately 1440 minutes, or one full day straight of storing rockets, Mario very quickly reaches the upper limit of where the game allows us to go. So what about 100,000 rockets? Well, it looks very much the same. And 1 million rockets? Still no different. Way before 50,000 rockets, we had already reached the point of diminishing returns. In fact, we hit that point somewhere around 1600 rockets, so we went way overkill, but we can still go a little further. The highest value you can set something to in this kind of float is 0x7fffffff, which is undefined. So what would happen if we forayed into the realm of infinity and stored infinite rockets? Well, let's find out. As soon as Mario sidesteps off of the platform, the undefined vertical momentum value is applied to him, and he just stays put, looking helpless. We can still shoot water and stuff, but we can't move. But we can get out of this state by doing something that changes Mario's vertical momentum value, the only way I've found to do this is to just use the rocket nozzle. Mario will blast off, and the game will resume as normal. Alternatively, we can press B to dive, making us bonk and fall. Mario will not get up, and you can't pause since you're not on the ground. So he will be stuck in this state until you restart the game. So, so much for infinite rockets. Anyway, that's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, this is Red Fuzzy Dice. Have a great rest of your day.